Okay, now we are on module uh, one, lesson two. And the essential question is how can you use rates, ratios, and proportions to solve real world problems? Well, first of all, ratios and proportions are very useful when solving real, real world problems. Gosh, that's a mouthful. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers by division, so it looks like a fraction. An equation that states the two ratios are equal is a proportion. Okay, so they just, they don't mess around. We're gonna get right into an example. A totem pole that's 90 feet tall casts a shadow that's 45 feet long. At the same time, a six foot tall man casts a shadow that is, they don't know how many feet tall. So the man and the totem pole are both perpendicular to the ground, so they form right angles with the ground. The sun shines at the same angle on both, so you've got similar triangles. Um, and remember when you have similar figures, their sides are proportional. So write a ratio of the man's height to the totem pole's height. Man's height, six. Totem pole's height, 90. Write a ratio of the man's shadow to the totem pole's shadow. Man's shadow, don't know, so we call it X. Totem pole's shadow, 45. Okay, so we have two ratios. And because we know that these are similar figures, we know that those two equal each other, we can write a proportion. So the man's height over the pole's height equals the man's shadow over the pole's shadow. Okay. We're going to solve the proportion by multiplying both sides by 45. Because right now, here, it's divided by 45. So multiply that by 45, that one by 45 as well. And you solve the proportion to find the length of the man's shadow in feet. When I do all that, and I'm going to cheat a little bit because I know the answer, 45 times 6 divided by 90, do all that, and you're going to get 3. 6 over 90 is the same as saying 3 over 45. What is another ratio that could be written for this problem? Okay, you can actually do um, height of totem pole over shadow of totem pole, height of man over shadow of man. It's just you, if you do height of totem pole divided by height of shadow, it's got a totem pole divided by shadow, it's got to be man divided by shadow. So they have to, you can't mix and match how you write your ratios. But again, it's proportional. Explain why your new proportion and solution are valid. And you just, they're valid because you've made sure you did not mix and match. You can do your proportion this way, height over height and shadow over shadow, or you can do totem, height over shadow, man, height over shadow. You just can't mix and match how you do them. All right, join me on the next page. All right, a scale is a ratio of any length in a scale drawing or a scale model to the corresponding actual length. So like if you're looking at blueprints for a house, it's going to be a scale drawing of what the house is actually going to be. And like one inch would maybe equal, I don't know, eight feet on, you know, of actual house. Uh, you know, one inch on the, on the drawing might e equal eight feet, et cetera. Okay. Uh, a drawing that uses a scale to represent an object as smaller or larger than the original object is a scale drawing, okay? Three-dimensional, and you would talk about a scale model. Okay, so here's an example. We've got a map. Notice on the map, we've got a scale. That one inch on the map is 18 miles of actual land. So one inch on the map is 18 miles of land. Okay, that's our scale. The actual distance from Chicago to Evanston is 11.25 miles. So what's the distance on the map? Well, we're going to use the scale from our map as a fraction. 
So we're going to say map distance over actual distance equals map distance over actual distance. Okay, so however we set it up, we've just got to do both fractions the same way. Map over actual equals map over actual. We know that the actual distance between those two cities is 11.25. I'm going to multiply both sides by 11.25. And when I do that, and do all the math, I wind up dividing 11.25. So it's 11.25 times 1 divided by 18. And I get 0 0.625. Um, and that's going to be inches on my map. The actual distance between North Chicago and Waukegan is 4 miles. What is this distance on the map? Okay, so we're using the same map. So write the scale from the map. 1 inch on the map is equal to 18 miles on land. Okay. Let D be the distance on the map. We don't know, okay, so 1 inch over 18 miles is equal to D inches on the map over 4 miles of actual, actual land. Okay, multiply both sides by 4, which is, they're showing you over here, 4 times the 1 inch, so you have 4 inches divided by 18 miles 4 divided by 18 if I remember well that's the same you can reduce that that's 2 ninths and 2 ninths it's because I memorized my fractions and decimals is 0 0.22 repeating okay so the distance is about 22 one hundredths of a mile if you round it off a little bit okay your turn, well, really our turn, we'll keep doing these together. A scale model of a human heart is 196 inches long. So like they've made like a big model of a human heart. The scale is 32 to 1. How many inches long is the actual heart? Okay, so 196 inches is the model. How many inches? is the actual. Okay. The scale is 32 to 1. Okay. So they've blown up and enlarged the heart so people can take a nice careful look at it. All right. So model heart over actual heart. Model size over actual size. Okay. So I can just take these out. It's 196 inches over x equals 32 over 1. Okay. And I don't know if you guys know cross multiplication. You take those two, you multiply those together. Take these two, multiply those together. And then you can solve for x nine, divided by 32. 32. I think that's in the ballpark of 6 inches, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. 196 divided by 32. Can she do math? Let's see. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, it's going to go into 100 about 3 times. I'm going to go with 6. Let's see what I get. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Ooh, I guessed pretty good. Uh, and then I would carry down 0. Okay, so about 6 inches. So the human heart's about 6 inches. Not exactly, but about. Good enough. Okay.